So this is the first YouTube clip I've ever done, um, kind of like this. So what I've got here, this is a NAS, it's a QNIP TS853A. So basically it's eight bays, um, it's fantastic. I've had a few issues with the network recently, uh, which I can talk about another time, but the idea is this time though that I am just gonna upgrade the RAM. These two bad boys at the moment, it's got four gig, two, two gig sticks each. Um, gotta let you see it. So uh, let's get to it. So these are four gig. I don't know if you can see them properly, it's a bit bright, hey. But uh, anyway, they cost me uh, thirty-nine bucks each. So they're pretty good. So we'll give it a crack and see what happens. Uh, apparently, this device can't have anything higher than eight gig. Uh, so unfortunately, this is the limit. I would like to have had 16 or something um, for warranties and so on, but this is this is all I've got. So sorry for not warranties. <laughs> I just read the word warranty here. Um, I'd like to run more for virtual machines and the like because uh, this this NAS can do all that. Um, so anyway, so let's take these off and um, we'll get this going. So like normal RAM, spread the sides and it'll just fold forward. And then lift out. So you can probably see in the other camera, hopefully haven't got it in the way. And inserting it, it's exactly the same. And of course, this is all approved by QNAP um, on their website and the manuals. It even tells you how to do all this, so it's um, definitely approved by them. You notice this one goes the other direction as well, so. Push them in nice and tight. Lock it in. Done! That's pretty much it. So now, uh, it's actually a very, very well built machine. If you have a look there. Um, this one, eight bays, I've only got four in it, so I can do RAID 6. I have two disc failures. Um, if you have a look around the back, two big fans. There's a smaller fan that's for the power pack there. Um, four LAN ports, three USB, three. Um, also got a couple of um, HDMI outputs as well. Sound card out, and believe it or not, they're audio in. So this NAS pretty much has everything. So uh, what I'm using it for specifically at this stage is for storage. But, um, you know, it's it's got a lot of capability. It's very well built. It's very heavy. Um, and it's only going to get heavier when I put in new drives. As, a, as I continue building it up. So at the moment, it has got four, four terabyte drives. Um, and they're all humming along nicely, which gives me about eight and a half, nine gig, sorry, nine terabytes um, to play with uh, under a RAID 6 environment. So effectively, if uh, anything went wrong, I could have two disks fail and not lose any data. So, we're good. So I put the lid back on, just gonna put it all back together again, um, and then fire it up and we'll see what happens. You'll probably as per normal, do a big long beep. Take about 20 minutes to start up because this one takes a long time. Um, probably because it's server grade almost or small business quality. It's um, pretty good. Very good quality, I will say. Come on, these are a bit fiddly. 
and the screws that keep it in are pretty much the ones that you would use on an SSD. So, I don't know if you can see there. They're, um, they're very small. Just bring it in. And you wonder why on earth am I on the ground here? Well, because it's close to the to the rack. And I don't have a workbench. So this is the next best thing. It's clean enough. It's quite night. There's no dust around. So. That's it. Now it's time to start it up and see what happens. Alright, we're back. I have now loaded up the NAS. It started up uh, and what we do now, we go and see if we can find it, which fortunately for us, QFinder uh, actually does locate the NAS, which is really good. Um, I've got it on DHCP and also a static DHCP as well, so I can easily find it. I've got two IP addresses. Just to make sure, there's one there. We log in, not telling you my password, so we'll just hit log in anyway. And uh, off we go. Let's do this now. So if we go to control panel like this, uh, firmware, da 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 da, now have 8 gig free. Yeah. So really, uh, that is pretty much all I wanted to show you. Uh, I do have a VM here that I can probably allocate twice as much RAM to now um, but just as a bit of play yeah it's uh, it's pretty good to do so as you can tell it's uh, just a, a test base uh, and you know see what we can do so thanks for watching um, this is the first very very first episode of this kind of stuff if you like it let me know if you don't tell me whatever uh, we'll see how we go. This uh, particular NAS, by the way, uh, is now running the latest version uh, for beta testing. So I thought, oh, we'll give it a crack. Uh, firmware 4.3.2, um, a build just only a couple of days ago. So, yeah, so far so good. Thanks.